Hi guys and welcome to our November garden tour. Yeah. What zone are we in guys? 10A and we we are in Florida. Central Florida and we're on the Atlantic side of yeah. Florida. So we're gonna walk around the garden and kind of show you what's going on in November. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna show you. No, November. let's. All right, start. hold on. We can start with Reese's favorite plant because we're right yeah. with it. This is Reese's favorite plant, and he checks on it all the time. What is that, Reese? Dottle pepper. A this dottle is pepper. actually a historical dottle pepper that my dad just watches every day. Yeah. Um, so, and this is really spicy. I actually really, have it. Really, really spicy. Yeah. What, are we, what are we gonna do with them yeah. once we get them? Uh, what are we gonna make? We're going to dip it in chili. See yeah. what that tastes. Or make hot sauce. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so let's make hot sauce first. All right. So we have. Um, we already had bees this morning on our basil. Of course, they all flew away as soon as I come over here. But um, that this African blue basil attracts so many pollinators, and it's another one that you can just get a um, a stick, oh, cut, a cut off a little piece, and um, put it in the ground. And because I stuck this piece in the ground, I don't know, four months ago, and look how big it's gotten. Wait, how much did you stick in the ground? I think I cut um, two cuttings and oh, stuck wow. them in the same hole. Oh, and? Little flower and blooming. Is there a flower blooming? Where? Where? I don't see a In the middle of the... Oh, I think that's an old pineapple top. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's keep moving yeah. here. So and this we, is... Uh, Peruvian white guava. Peruvian white guava. We planted that a, a couple months ago. We have our green onions that we use as chives. These are just green onions we got from the grocery store. We cut the little hairy parts off and pop them in the ground. And I yeah. Think you show you my favorite. No. Nope. Hold on, Reese. Right. Reese, hold on. We're gonna um probably get rid of this. Uh, this is kind of just a ground cover here. This is a birdhouse gourd. Uh, they don't get pollinated here. Um, we grew these up in Georgia, um, and that's where I got my seed from. We get flowers, but nothing seems to pollinate it. Um, I think it's a nighttime bloomer, uh, and so it needs more moths and stuff, and maybe we're lacking what, what's needed to um, pollinate these. Uh, oh, uh, we yes, have lots um, of um, monarchs. You see if, oh, there's one. Oh, that no, he's the huge. wasps seem to be slowing down, um, and they're the ones that kind of eat all the caterpillars that we have. That so nice here's too. some more. So we're that really happy to see all these monarch caterpillars huge. in the garden. There's one and right then here. That look we at this flower. Yeah, we're gonna chop it off yes. about right there. Yes. I don't think so. I think we're gonna keep it. And uh, these are our ice cream bananas. They still have a ways to go. Once it gets cold, it's a little chillier out right now. Um, so uh, the bananas do not grow or ripen as fast when it cools down. Uh, over here, we have our Mysore patch, Mysore bananas, and we have some little tiny bananas starting here. Uh, those I really like. Uh, these are our favorites. They're about two and a half bites each, so they're yeah, small. They can probably be one bite. Two Here's bites. a new little penta we just popped in the ground. It looks super happy and pretty. Oh, and here's our best vinca, I'd say. Yeah, we found these at one of our um, beach walkovers Wait, that's nearby. how we got this one? And these were growing on a dune. No, that's not how we got it. I bought oh, it at yeah. Home Depot. No, but that's but, how we found out. But that's it. how we found out that this would be a good color that would spread and look pretty. So, um, so we got that one from Home Depot and it's just from one plant and it's gotten that big. Yeah. I don't know. We planted yeah. that a couple months ago. These are our praying hands patch. Here's our praying hands. And we have... We just recently got some praying hands off of them, but um, there is some that are ripening on another um, banana plant that we have. Our tower is doing really good. Um, this is the Garden Tower 2, and we bought this, I don't know, two years ago. It's okay. I'm still trying to kind of figure it out. It seems like the stuff up here does really good. But the stuff on the sides doesn't get the water or the sunlight that it needs. 
So I'm still trying to kind of figure it out. I've got some little Everglades tomato plants sprouted. I just popped some tomatoes, some tomatoes in the ground. Um, there's some more and there's another one. Um, and then here, look at all the tomatoes I popped in up here and look how Whoa. good they're doing. So to get Everglades tomatoes going, really all you gotta do is just take a red tomato and plant it. And, you and then will, leave it alone. You'll get a bunch of them. Oh, here's a new vinca. Here's a new vinca that we're going to plant. We're excited about that. We don't have that color. We like all the different colors of those. They're just a happy plant to have in the garden. Yeah. Oh, and this vinca changed color when we bought it. It went from a super dark version to that. Yeah, it's still lighter. pretty dark. Yeah, but the other one's like uh, <clears throat> super dark. Our pineapples are all getting nice and big. I moved, I had them kind of clumped in here uh, a little too tight. So I, um, I took the smaller ones out recently and popped them all in around our banana patch because this one was our biggest, best one that we had had. And I said, it must be the bananas because we, we had so much organic matter around the base of our bananas um, because it's so important to get big racks of bananas to chop and drop them and fertilize them um, with fish emulsion and give them lots of water. So I guess these little pineapples are living off all that goodness. So we got one there and there. Um, we put one here by these bananas and, this one and one, one over here. And uh, here our Cuban oregano is doing really nice. Uh, all you have to do to propagate this is just stick a cutting in the ground. You yeah, don't even need root hormone. Yeah, Teddy will show you. We didn't even use root hormone. I just stuck a cutting. Yeah, I ground. never used root horm hormone for this. I just stick it in the ground and it does very well and it's real delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great herb to grow if you don't have it growing. And then um, this is black garlic chives. Um, and this is about two years old and it just grows and grows and grows and we also use this for chives and it has a garlicky flavor it's really good that's another great one to grow it does really well um, oh. in our climate here's one I'm real excited about the double mahoe yeah the double mahoe um, gets actually two, two branches of uh, banana um, racks racks yeah and here's more of this blue basil these were just I think I put like three cuttings in the ground over here and it's kind of just taking over, but we just whack it back and um, it still just continues to grow and grow. Here's our little buttercups. They're starting to open our for the morning. Brown turkey fig and a fig. Here's our brown turkey fig with our one fig. Excited Vinca. about that. Another cool vinca. Yeah, it's a nice vinca. Look, this one's growing nice and big and spreading. It was like, um, it was like about to hear and then something just happened and it took off. It That's was amazing. Like, it like wasn't doing well and then it just, oh, look at that. Yep. I cut, I recently cut back this turkey fig because this was a branch that we had on it and it had no leaves on it. So I cut it back and look at all that new growth coming out. So, um, fruit trees definitely like to be tipped. Uh, oh, and what, what I mean by that is just trimming, same trimming with little here. branches. Look, see, uh, we yeah, trimmed those and, and it shot up. No, I didn't. These all started from me trimming that one oh. down there. Um, here's some fire spike, which we're real excited about attracting um, uh, hummingbirds. Yeah. Right? And uh, we have this pagoda flower, which we keep cutting back. Um, we planted these from another, we had them growing in another spot in the yard and I moved some over here. Um, to kind of like um, beautify this wall right here and it seems to do really well um, and it has flowers year round it's it's a beautiful yeah, beautiful plant. it's good in like um, bouquets and stuff yeah okay, here's yeah. our um, our elderberry and uh, this one we've gotten flowers on uh, again it doesn't seem to be getting pollinated so I don't know there's a bee but there's no flowers here mister <laughs> Um, I wonder what he's doing. Uh, here are our Dwarf Cavendish Bananas. These are the variety that you get at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your big box type, uh, you know, home improvement centers. So they're very easy to find. They're a very delicious fruit. Um, they're a great banana to get. Um, these, these are a little older, 
Uh, they're a smaller banana, but they're not quite as small as the Mysore. Uh, and these will get quite a bit plumper. Uh, and here's one that's about a month behind the other one. Yeah, uh, we, um, got, we saw like this one had its flower with that had its pre-flag flag leaf or pre-pre-flag leaf. When this one got the flower? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, you know, a month or a month and a half behind. Here's another pineapple we moved. Tomato tree. And we got our yeah, tomatoes. We'll we already talk talked about, about those. Um, over here, is... we have um, our Orinoco bananas. We've gotten some bananas off these. This is more of a cooking banana, more of like a plantain type. Um, what's really nice about this rack, I noticed, was when we brought them in, they stayed oh, yeah. green for a really long time, and we had a lot of time to consume them, which was great, because the Mysores, they ripen very quickly. But they're dying! Um, but I think that, you know, maybe if we kept them, we're cutting them off the rack to make it easier to manage having them, um, but we really need to be hanging the whole racks upside down somehow in our kitchen or dining room so that we can just pull off what we want to eat. Uh, I think that's why they're ripening so fast. But we um, need to cut them into hands. Hang our beauty berry berries are looking so beautiful and super purple. The croton looks really good. All right, let's keep moving. Teddy's telling me to keep on moving, so let's go. It's a little vinca, a heliconia. See, this is where we just stuck. I think we put five cuttings of uh, the Cuban oregano in here, and it's already starting to spread real nice. What do we got going here? Um, we have a can of We have our our, um, our lemongrass. I recently whacked it way back, um, and as I was doing it, there were little mices living under there, so. I decided to pull out some of the um, some of the dead leaves under there and kind of clean it out some, so uh, so that we weren't creating a habitat for mice right by our front door. And um, and then I took all the cuttings from it. I got quite a bit, and I was able to use mulch um, in another yeah. part of the yard. And I'll show you guys that later in the tour. Look, this guy just fell over when we came back. It was a fall. It had fallen over and now these little sprouts are coming up. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up with a bigger, shorter tree now that this kind of it's broke off. It's gonna be like bushy. And, um, and probably get more papayas, hopefully. Yeah. So that'll then, be great. Then when that falls, we'll keep having smaller and smaller papayas until like, we just can't have We have like a papaya bush. Yeah. Here is some porterweed. Um, I had some other stuff like blanket flower growing up here, but um, I was I thought this looked nice and it was a little lower, so I'm kind of letting this come up. I still have the blanket spots. flower going. We got to one of my favorite spots. Is that here. your favorite spot? All right, I'm coming. Here's some pentas. Brent's getting some more bananas everywhere so that we can. Okay, that's not a banana. That's a canna lily. Yeah, I was going to say. But he planted a banana over here. A vermilion we got from plant pirates some oyster plants. This is actually spider's wart. So this gets a pretty purple flower. I think that's a native uh, Florida no. flower. All right, here's Teddy eating his longevity spinach. This one makes you strong like Popeye, huh? Do you think Popeye had longevity spinach? Oh, it's too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our Moringa tree towering over. Maybe I can climb it. This tree is two years old that we grew from seed. What? And this was from seed to you. It has uh, some drumsticks up there drumsticks. Uh, with full of seeds and like some drumsticks. of those um, we want to try to eat because apparently they taste like asparagus, huh? which we love. So Brent got this. I think this is a Mysore. He just moved over here um, to kind of give us another little patch of bananas over here. Um, the Sisu spinach. I just recently took some of it out of my tower and moved over here and then I had some over in that corner over there and I moved it over here so that it was more reachable for me to um, have access to. It looks like there's some kind of little bug getting to it but overall it's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. And over um, our mulberry tree, this is an ever bearing mulberry. There's mulberries on it. Uh, where? I've seen, been watching mulberries on it. They're up there. There were some. There's a dried one. But um, 
Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not the best there. spot for a um, mulberry. Mulberry. It, it because we have so much other stuff. And with because the guava best case scenario, and, it gets so big, we have to cut it down from the spot. Yeah. But we can keep it small. Yeah. Our papaya right here, again, it's kind of like being pushed out by all this other stuff. So it's not super happy, but it's still going. We've got our katuk right here. These were all of our cuttings. Yum. And they're all doing really good. Um, I'm eating some a berry. plumeria. And then there's the um, wedding bouquet plumeria that we planted, uh, I think, in like December. And, and it had no uh, leaves on it. And now it's just. Like that tall. Yeah, so now it's, it's real happy. So. Oh, uh, there's one of Teddy's little surprises of uh, Cuban oregano that he planted. He likes to to plant it all over the place and surprise me. Longevity spinach. Do you like that spinach? That's your favorite. So the longevity is definitely the boy's favorite spinach. And my favorite banana will show you at around the end of the garden door. My two favorites are not to eat, but just coolness but are up front and we'll show you at the end of the video. Awesome. So stay in tune. Yes, stay tuned. All right, let's keep moving. Here's our Hall of Plant Pirates. Yep, this is our Hall of Plant Pirates. Oh, this is um, a, you wanna, okay, I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and put, to post in the comment section below your guess of th this tea plant before I say it. So. What's it called? Um, if you if you watch the, the tea plant video we made, yeah. you would know, but what is this? tea plant called. You want me to say real it Real special. Go for it. This is a pink diamond tea plant. Awesome. It's, they're real special. We, They were so special we could like spend an hour searching for it. Yeah. Yeah. They spent a lot of time researching all of our tea plants to make that video for you guys. That was really fun. Yeah. So here are all of our different varieties of uh, bromeliads that we've collected from plant pirates. So they've got all these on the curb and they're all different. And we yeah. haven't gotten blooms on any on many of them. This one we got a flower. These, these um, two we got a flower. That one we got a flower. And yeah. This, one we got a this flower. one's a little different. Here's one of those spotted ones. I like the ones with no spikes. Yeah. Me too. Oh, and here's a uh, little some kind of a caladium. Caladium, yeah. Um, this is a type of tea plant. Um, yes, we, Carolina. We never said that in our video because we thought it was a corn palm, but now we think it's a tea plant. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, stay in tune, tune for our, uh, our next tea, uh, plant. tea plant tour. Yeah, because we just keep collecting them. Here's, here's this nice, I love these. They're like, um, they have like a pink fingernail tips. It's got like stripes underneath it. Oh, I love this. This is a beautiful one. I love this one. Oh, that one you're It's the same yeah. one, yeah. They're the same ones, but yeah, I love these, them. These, we planted them and they didn't have to go through any shock and they were huge. And they really made such a beautiful presence They're in the tall. garden. We got some plumeria, some more little bromeliads that we popped in. Oh. In this area, we've kind of cut out a lot of the old growth that we've collected and, and what we have left is all the new little baby pups that were on that old growth um, growing. So they, it doesn't look quite as shabby as it did oh, wait, when we were letting everything um, kind of branch out again. Where is the, we had some spiral ginger in here, oh, it but I, I think it may have gotten squashed when we were putting these arecas in, but yeah. I bet it'll come back. Okay, All right, so what do we have going this here? This is a dwarf Brazilian, right? Is that a yep. dwarf? Yep, here's I our love, dwarf Brazilian. Oh, yep, dwarf Brazilian. And? Um, do you remember what kind of tea plant this one was? Look at the color uh, on that. Ah, oh, so pretty. I know that one's Black Magic. Here's the Black Magic. We well, have let's some not tell them anymore. Shampoo you guys ginger. To, you guys need to stay in tune um, for the tea plant video. Yeah. Tea plant tour. This Here's is the Pasang Raha. The Pasang Raha, which I think is a red version of the Mysore type. A so, red? So yes, so we'll have the red wait. peels. Red peels, yeah. So we'll have to wait and see what that one gives us. <laughs> like the blue java. Uh, except we don't have. So there's but some variegated ginger. Yeah, that's a gold finger. There's a gold finger banana. Yeah. Here's a papaya we planted. 
This is a, a couple red months lady ago. High on, that's a dwarf red. Dwarf red. And then another cool vermilion. It's a vermilion now. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's walk. Oh, here's our cacao. This is two years old. It lost all of its leaves last, like, what do you say, December, January? Yeah, it's it's in the it's going through its shedding time, um, and it'll look dead all winter long. Um, and then it'll get these tiny little sprouts, and, and it'll give you just enough hope to not chop it down, and then it'll grow <laughs> a whole bunch of leaves. Yeah, yeah, but this one apparently is not really meant to be growing in our zone. <laughs> Um, it's, it's for a more tropical region, but uh, we've had it for two years oh, and look, we've done good. Oh, so that's what it looks like before it turns yellow. No, that's what they look like. They don't turn yellow. Oh, they don't? No. Can I eat it? Yeah, go for it. So these are... Aww. Yeah, that one looked a little fresh. Get out of there. Get out. Well, I got that. These... Oh, like one of my favorite things. We never get a chance at them because the boys always eat them. But like, that's on our button ginger. I think most gingers get those little yellow things that you can eat. Uh, here's some Song of India. Um, Plumeria. Here's a nice Dracaena. Coonties. They harbored lots and lots of Atala caterpillars this summer. Um, they're about done for the season. We have I haven't seen them for like, a while. I'd say 500 to 800 caterpillars. Yeah, just on this plant alone. No, not just on that. But this one, that one um, didn't get any and it's such a nice big one and I'm last thinking year it got a ton. last year it got a ton but I think I had trimmed it so I think to get the butterflies to come to your coonties it's best to trim them back because when you trim them back they come out with new leaves that are probably easier for them. Like the caterpillars, caterpillars only to eat. want the freshest leaves. Yes, they like the freshest leaves. Okay, and here's our secret pageant. Our ma there's our, our mango. Oh, let's show the um our here's our avocado tree, and I've noticed that it doesn't look like much, but it is to me because this this vanilla I've had for um, almost a year now, and it has not done it's much, not and it's finally starting to to crawl up this tree. I had two of them and one didn't make it, but um, but that one is, and I, I hope to have vanilla one day. We're gonna have to self-pollinate it though. Vanilla and chocolate coconut ice cream. I know. The You know what uh, pollinates cacao flowers? Um, isn't it like wasps? It's something that we have a lot of here. But, uh, bees? Wait, wait, a lot. No Sam's. What? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, here's our kunti seeds oh, that we're going to yeah. collect. Once they turn orange like that, they're ready to plant. So you don't even have to put them in the ground. You just put some dead leaves over the top of them and they'll root. Okay, here's our lacatan. Our lacatan banana. Our, our nice little labels. Our dwarf eye holy leaves. And our sweetheart. And our sweetheart. Our I sweet bet house. It, it'll get a uh, Probably our flag next one that will give us a flag. Um, then we have uh, some plumeria. plumeria. This stuff is still doing, holding on to its leaves. This is the end of the season for plumeria. Yeah. Have you, do you see any monarchs on our milkweed over here? Um, I cut it all back, you know, so that they could uh, migrate to Mexico, but. Um, they still hold on to just like the stumps of it. Yeah, we've um, so we've had, we had to, yeah. We had to take some of the pop-up ones and not pull them out so uh -huh. the caterpillars would live. So the caterpillars have something to eat. Because and... they just hung on here and, and they were like, I like it here. I'm just going to hold on to the stump. Yeah, I guess they're just going to winter here. But, um, you know, during the summer, they just get eaten um, by all the wasps yeah. and everything. So they don't stand much of a chance. Unless I, I pull them in. Oh, look at this. We have flowers on our cassava. Cassava? Look at that. What does it give? Cassava, you eat the roots and you can make flour. You can make cassava cakes with them. Ooh, wait. So we haven't done that yet, but we were are certainly yeah. going to try it. Come over here. Here's our crinum lilies. These were like rather large ones, but not huge. They're about the size of this. Um, they were about the size of me. 
No, they were like this size right here oh. when we bought them. Um, and they're huge now. Yeah, they're this, as tall as Teddy. We have our papaya, full of papayas back there. That's what our other one looked like when it got chopped over. We need to harvest those green papayas to dip them in lemon juice. Not the green ones. We want to do the ripe ones with the lemon juice. Is that why it's good? Yeah. Oh. Okay, here is the dwarf mamwa. Yep, we have a Brogdon avocado here. It's doing really good. Um, we planted that about two years ago. The dwarf mamwa. Here's a green tea plant. This is the best. This is my favorite. was tea just plant. a cutting we found. And this is all new. Yep, that's all new growth right there. Um, another bromeliad. So is this? Oh, yeah, dwarf namwa. Reese, do you know what this one is? Hold on, let's have Reese. Reese, do you. What kind of banana is that one? A poly. Apple. Apple. That's the yeah. apple banana. And then what about this one, Reese? Rhino horn. The rhino horn banana. So this gets a giant, weird looking banana. So that'll be a fun one. It to, gets to bananas look at. this long. Yeah, and they look like rhino horns, I guess. So. Here's some more of the African blue basil. I kind of just stick that everywhere. Variegated Hawaiian shampoo um, ginger. Variegated Hawaiian shampoo ginger, some dracaena, some green crinum lily. Here's our passion flower, uh, passion fruit vine. Um, it's not looking great. I think I need to trim it back a little bit, but we have it growing up the tree and what we have growing up seems to be the happiest. So um, I, th I think that um, from things I've read and watched um they really do like being up in a tree and if you paddle up in a tree they fall when they're ripe so it's not like you have to climb all the way up there to yeah, retrieve your fruit up our tree house. yeah the kids want to grow some up their tree house too so we need to get some some of this going because it's such a fast grower so we through this gate all right this is starting to fill in a little bit yeah let's look see a us. little nicer <laughs> here's our mandarin orange Tree. We put this in two years ago um, and it's getting all this new growth. Last year I was getting swallow tail butterflies on it um, and I've been looking everywhere for them but I haven't seen any this year. Yeah, so. I think, uh, oh, here's, here's our bananas that were on the property when we moved here. Um, we're having to stake it up because these fall over like almost every time and we always have to end up just um, eating them green. So we're trying to see like if we can if we can get them to uh, to ripen fully this time for us. Here's another little patch of free plants there. I don't think we've ever had a yellow version of that. Well, we eat them yellow when they ripen inside, but no, we've never they've never gotten yellow on the actual tree for us, which is what you want, ideally. Here's our um, sugar cane, purple sugar cane. We just recently cut some of these stalks off to make more plants. Oh, this is the Raja Puri? That's the Raja Puri banana. Oh, and a tall Namwa. Now a we have yep. a dwarf Namwa and a tall Namwa. Yeah, we got both kinds. Is there such thing as just a regular Namwa? I think that's what the tall is. Uh, the tall is just a regular <laughs> and like the dwarf is... Uh, a dwarf is a regular, but the tall is like a regular size for banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch where you're walking. So we've got some yucca, some banana, oh, yucca. Look, some more, and, some more um, small leaf tea plant. Yeah, what's that one called? Do you remember? Chili pepper? Wait. Yeah. Was that called the chili pepper? I think, yeah. Um, yeah, I really like this one. This one's like, has like a nice outline on the leaf and it's got a real small leaf. It's real pretty with this um, wedding bouquet. This looks like And we have some more. This is a white plumeria. Um, they get like tiny little flowers that, that don't smell like your typical plumeria. They have like more of a flowery smell and less of a lemony smell like most of the ones we have. I wouldn't um, say they have a lemon. Uh, has a lemon. I think it does, kind of. The, the chili pepper is the tea plant with the little leaves. Whoa. Does that actually grow peppers? No. no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Reese loves peppers. All right. Over here we have our soursop tree. Oh, yeah. I'm excited and about it's that. It's doing guy. really good. Um, it seems really happy here. Uh, it's kind of a slower growing tree. Uh, maybe it's not getting quite as much sun as it needs. Oh, but... there's my two favorite bananas. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting there. We have some... Um, Natal plums. Cocoa, cocoa plums. Cocoa plums. Natal plums have the cup leaves. Some, uh, some of tea our plant. tea plants from cuttings that we planted. Oh, this is like a mom one. 
Here's our monstera. So this oh, gets a really good this fruit. This is a great leaf. Look, yeah, I know. See how it tips sideways and if you not many people know this, but look closely. Uh, see those bumps? Yeah. There's bumps on it. Yeah, that is cool. It's like a really amazing plant. I just you can have a leaf that big. I mean, this leaf must be three and a half feet long. Yeah. Let's see. We've got a um, a new little avocado we popped in here that's doing really awesome. Put, just put that in a, about a month and a half ago. Strawberries. Um, we've got all these. Um, my neighbor gave us these crinum lilies as like little tiny baby pups that were on the side of hers, and uh, they're doing really good. Yeah, and I, I think they'll be they'll be big um, yeah. next year. Oh, let me show you something. So, when you think of a strawberry tree, you think of like a vine with strawberries on it, right? Right. Well, this has circle fruits and this is a strawberry tree. Do you see any fruit on Here, it? Here, it's see. not ripe, but they turn red. It's a little fruit. You, yeah, the you trick is eat to, them when they're pink and they no, taste, what do they red. taste like? Cotton candy jelly beans. They really do, they're guys. They're a sugar overload and it, uh, it's hard to, the skin doesn't taste good, but it's, I, I'd like throw them in a smoothie, not more eat them off the bush because. Yeah. But you guys eat them off the bush all the time. Yeah. Okay, all right. these Here's are Teddy's my favorites. favorites. Okay, the Thai black and the Saba. And the Saba. So this one's going to get really big It's going to get this big around and 30 feet so. tall. I hope so. Because 30 feet is, that's probably 20 feet, right? What? Is that the cabbage ball? No, that's 30 feet. That is? That's probably more. Maybe 35. I don't know. We'll have well, to just wait and see. This is probably 30 feet. No. Yes, that's yeah. probably 30 so, feet, yeah. And this guy's going to grow as tall as that one and probably faster than that one. So there will be a point where a banana is as big around as a cabbage palm. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. And the tie black is super rare. Yes, it's, it's cool. And real... look, it's got this black skin. And wait, are the bananas black? Or um, is, is it I juice? I think so. I think they're like a dark purple. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> That's going to be weird because when you see a black banana from the grocery store, you're like, oh, it's rotten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, hopefully they don't turn black. Hopefully yeah, they just are black. It'll be hard to know with, when they're good or turn bad. So here's some Exora we planted I wonder if they turn the middle. yellow um, if they're bad. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? We've got another Monstera kind of growing up there. That one's actually doing great. Some Dracaenas from Plant Pirates a couple weeks ago. We got this one two weeks ago, and we got this one last week. And this is one of those red bromeliads. And some shell ginger. Here's our Fiesta hibiscus. It's not looking great. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, but the flowers on that one is just incredible. Yeah. Here is another Hawaiian tea. This is like a false agave. Um, the, here's this variegated um, Hawaiian shampoo ginger here's the mango tree that we got um on the curb so we don't know if it'll get fruit or not um well we're hoping but it look, will this is all new growth it's doing good See? yeah okay and can i show you guys to something real exciting yes it's over Always. here it's um actually oh, wait, did we show them this oh, little yeah. bed we need to show them our new bed so yes. this isn't a that much of a new bed it's just like well this is brand new yeah we just planted all these new. little bromeliads but here this isn't that new like no we're gonna change this a little bit maybe at a pathway here but um here's our chaya and our spiral ginger this is new. and our our best bromeliad yes ever. so beautiful and and the the coffee the wild coffee looks really pretty this time of year it's like a it's like a christmas tree with its red and, berries. And I like throwing the berries because they have a fun texture. Yeah. Don't eat them though, folks. Make you hallucinate. Which isn't good for a kid. No. Or anyone, really. Yeah. Um, here is our sawtooth palm. We kinda like, but keep your, um, like clean it up back it. here so that our um, palm would kinda we want this to kind of get bigger because um, the berries on this are really good for things, and uh, the leaves are really good for things. Oh, for like weaving the, and stuff. Here comes the exciting thing. Hold over on, here. hold on, hold on. Oh. We're going over here. Ooh, so nice. here, 
is um, some bromeliads we got this week, some uh, dracaena, and some uh, tea, plant. tea plant. This was full of um, this caladium. It's not caladium, it's something else, but this stuff was, is in our yard and it is all over the place and it just kind of takes over. We're going to eventually get rid of all this up and here, but it was pop. all over. It was oh. all over this area. Is this the lady so. of the night? This is Lady of the Night. Our neighbor gave this to us. Smell smells. it. No, you guys smell it. <laughs> smell it. All right, this is uh, Plumago, I think. So it gets like those uh, blue flowers. Uh, it wasn't really getting enough sun to make flowers until they cleared the lot next door and that kind of opened up some sunlight for them. Um, but I, I think they're kind of done. Uh, their season oh, here's some. is done. Here's a whole bunch. Oh. Excellent. Good good eye, bud. Yeah. Let's see it's if these smell pretty good. little blue flowers. Nice. Here's some more um, wild coffee and a beautiful hibiscus. There's usually always flowers on here, but I don't see any today. They get picked when Reese and his friends play. Yeah. Here's a uh, avocado we planted a long time ago. Yeah, it's not doing no, well. It oh, it has new growth. But, um, we did just tip it, and that just goes to show you how important tri just continual trimming does for the plant because it hasn't had any new growth for a real long time. Here is, uh, so this is what that area looked like that we just cleared um, that I just showed you. We ripped all that out. So this is our next project over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a sweetheart lychee here um, that we just got in the ground. Um, yeah. A longan right there and another um, hall of plant pyrus yeah this is kind of like another area we just like line everything up that we get from the plant pirate videos on um along this hedge that brent planted but here's all these uh bromeliads more bromeliads and hawaiian tea and we just recently planted all this dead looking ginger but it'll come back it always yeah. does and then Here's the exciting thing. Oh boy, yeah. So, this is our carambola, aka star. Arkin carambola. And you want to see the surprising thing? Come over here. Oh, look at those flowers. Hopefully, those will turn into little star fruits. And I don't think I don't think that this tree is quite big enough to hold up fruit, but <laughs> we will see. We need to get some more pieces of bamboo to hold it. Yeah, up. yeah, but that's real exciting. And then we have a little fig we're trying to grow in the shade because our one in the sun doesn't seem very happy. But I don't know. Figs grow so well in Georgia. Maybe we should just be focusing our fig our fig energy yeah. into growing them up there. Oh. Here's the that cool vermilion we got. Um, it's doing really well and some more vermilions. It looks like a pineapple. Our cardboard palm we got the other week. We need uh, to show you after our potting place one more place of what, that we kept adding. Yeah, here's so, all of our more. plants that are we need to go it's find a place it. for. This is a big vermilion we got the other week that we still need to get in the ground. Um, here's a new kind of sugar cane we collected out of someone's piles. Um, and this is the purple stuff we cut so that we can cut it up and make more. Uh, here's just some potted up coconuts, uh, some teddy bear palms, some, I think, thatched palms. Oh, and here's our, our sweet stuff for sugar apple. Yep, we're coming over yeah, there. We're coming. Uh, here's the peppermint. Nope. What is this called? Peppermint no, twist? Don't say it. We have to, yeah, uh, it is, but it's, but you guys also. Check in for that tea plant video because there's lots more you guys haven't seen. Here is some kind of an agave, a little small one. Here's a dwarf axora plant. I love these. We I feel like they a attract a lot of pollinators. Plant that, but that we were sold to as an ex, a dwarf because the leaves are big. Yeah, on that the one. leaves are big, like, like the big ones. Like yeah, but these are tiny leaves, so uh -huh. it kind of makes sense that this would be a dwarf and this would be regular. It does seem like that, but I've never seen a big orange one. So maybe all the orange ones are are mini. Here's another. Um, I've seen big orange ones. Those ones over there are orange. Oh, okay. Um, here's a, a monstera. monstera. It's looking good. I don't think it gets quite enough sun. That one over there just seems so happy. Here's our little planting area here's where we 
uh, kind of play around with all of our little cuttings and stuff. Oh, where's the exciting thing? Oh, here it is. Jackfruit. Here's our jackfruit that Planted our neighbor gave us a seed. seed and planted it for us. Yeah. Um, and recently we noticed that our plants weren't looking great. Um, they uh, were staying really wet and everything, especially these um, japatacabas, just weren't happy. They looked like they're doing better a lot. Yeah, so, um, so we ordered a bunch of um, perlite, perlite, which I couldn't get at any store because all the stuff that you can get in the stores has like fertilizer or other crap and in it. So we, just, we, we, um, we like um, just straight up Perlite, right, like we wanted just perlite. yes. So we um, we had to order that online, um, but we got like a bunch of it now, um, and I think that's really important for uh, for draining your soil in a potted plant. So that seems to be making a difference. Here's the candelabra cactus we collected, some Hawaiian tea we collected. Uh, these are little Exora cuttings that Brent cut, and he like kind of scraped the the end of it, and then dipped it in root hormone and we got this new growth here from the cutting since it was planted. And then Brent found another little cutting the other day and just popped this one in a plant too. Um, so that's real exciting because we like those exoras. Yeah, they're they're a, uh, a pretty shrub around here. Yeah. Oh, and this is... <gasps> oh no, is it okay? Don't touch it, I'll blow on it. It's alive. It's fun with it. All right, Reese, you keep an eye on it. And make sure it's safe, okay? Yeah. Looks like it might be missing legs because I only see four legs and every insect has six. six. Right. Keep an eye on him, okay, Reese? Keep him safe, okay? Oh, yes, is it a him or is it a he? Yep, it is. You see the little bulge in the line right there? A bulge in the line. Oh. Right. That's you so that hard little, to tell. That little dot right there yeah. means it's a boy. So keep an eye on it for me, Reese. So let's see, is there anything else interesting over here? We've Sweet got... Salt. Oh yeah, so here's our sugar apple. So good. It had fruit on it when we bought the tree. I kind of splurged on it, but I was real excited. It was, it was real interesting. I made you get it. Yes, Teddy wanted it bad, so what, what am I gonna do? Um, and I mean, it tastes like sugar. No, it tastes like a, a sugary cantaloupe. Yeah, oh my gosh. It was Man. so, 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 so good. So it's I like can't one of the wait. the best tropical fruits ever. Yeah, we've got to get that in the ground ASAP. What else? Do we have anything else over no, here? No, we were going to keep it in the pot because we've seen some pictures of like 12 year old ones that are just like that and they have. They're just loaded with fruit because yeah. we're going to keep it in the pot, remember? Okay, maybe yeah. we'll get a bigger pot for it, though. You know, yeah, we need like... Here's our little, um, here's our uh, spider lily that we collected from the road. There was like bunches and bunches of it, but I just grabbed a couple of them. And then um, another plant pirate, I don't think I showed it, but I got a green one, um, I don't know, two weeks ago, and I just popped it in there to have like a little variety, and it's doing really good, too. Oh. And I don't do anything to that plant. And that's a really good one um, to clean the air um, inside your house. It's a great house plant. And here's our Jatropha um, that we collected accidentally last week. Uh, we, uh, somebody told us that, that you could propagate this from cuttings. And we were like, oh no, I think we threw it away. But we found it after searching and searching, we did find it and we're trying to bring it back to life here. But obviously it's not super happy. We might have to just keep our eye out for more, for more cuttings of this in the future because I do love that little plant too. All right, let's uh, go over here and then I think we can wrap up this, this garden yeah. tour. This was a good one. Lots of cool stuff going on always. Here's our little pentas. Oh, do we have any red? Hibiscus flowers? Probably do hibiscus. Uh, I love the red hibiscus. It's so pretty. That one's not super pretty, but it's a pretty one. Here's the little um, mulched area that Brent takes this monkey grass and he makes mulch uh, pathways. It's and real it's, soft. It's real it's, soft. It with the live oak leaves, it's just like. Oh, I forgot to show where I did the mulch with the um, lemongrass leaves. 
Here we'll is, oh my gosh, this is doing awesome. This uh, zigzag plant. No, it's devil's backbone. Devil's backbone, good job. Thanks for correcting me. Um, it's doing awesome back here. We've got the wedding bouquet. We popped some more mice or bananas in. I got pineapples and another tea plant. Here's A some uh, natal plum and uh, a giant iguana. Is that what you think that looks like? Yeah, a giant iguana root. Yeah, a banyan root. Um, this is the lobster claw heliconia that we're hoping will will root because There's that's a real special claw one. Heliconia. That's just heliconia. No, the lobster claw or heliconia. Um, oh, that's and here's my this favorite beautiful uh, false agave. agave. I yes. love that. Is and that a some... false agave or an agave? <sighs> like, can we get agaves off of it? I don't think so, no, I think it's false, but um, here is, here's that little um, vermilion. vermilion that had zero roots on it, and it's looking good, I no, think it's it gotten bigger. Roots. It had No, some. it didn't, it didn't have any. We just got it, we just popped it out of a can, and let me show you guys real quick, because I thought this was kind of cool, didn't you, that what? we can use the lemongrass as a uh, mulch, um, it actually worked very well. And it's one of those things that kind of grows really, really fast, and it's just another use for it. Um, but here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is all the lemongrass, and I didn't—I could have cut even more off of that bush um, up by the front, but um, you know, it covered like a fairly large pathway, so yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps things up now yeah. um, in our November garden tour. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.